Cody now whipping Flair. Who is that masked man? Did you miss me? The competition is heating up on metal as tonight we witness the Nature Boy go up against the American Nightmare. It's Cody Rhodes versus Ric Flair in a no disqualification match. And also tonight we will find out who is going to the Elimination Chamber match on our next pay-per-view ungovernable with three Chamber qualifying matches including this one Drew McIntyre versus Chris Jericho. And our main event is also a qualifying match. If Braun Strowman beats Tetsuya Naito tonight, he will join the fray at Ungovernable. But if Naito wins, Braun is not going to the chamber. And another qualifying match is about to take place right now when EC3 goes one-on-one -on -one with the man who last week beat the metalweight champion. It is John Morrison. And you see Sean Spears in the Miz at ringside. Willing on EC3, we understand that Sean Spears was being aided by The Miz last week and EC3 being aided by that TKO in for the cover but Morrison somehow kicks out. Of course EC3 got into an altercation with Sami Zayn last week, tonight he wants to qualify for the Elimination Chamber. But it's not looking good for him as Morrison kicks him in the face and kicks out Sean Spears too and now hacks him at the knee. And EC3 now has Morrison where he wants him for the elbow drop, no. Elbow drop misses and there goes John Morrison with the Starship pain and the victory. John Morrison is advancing to the Elimination Chamber. Remember, John Morrison has a pinfall victory over Naito and now he has the chance to beat Naito inside the chamber. Man, I was waiting back here to give you some congratulations, but he didn't even win. Is that what I was supposed to be afraid of? Man, I mean, I can still give you a title match if you want, if you're not feeling too sore after the beating John Morrison just gave you, but man, I was expecting more, honestly. I'm a little bit disappointed. You think this is funny? What, you want to laugh at my face? How about you do that, huh? What about now? This is going to be intense. No disqualifications. Protégé versus teacher. Ric Flair one-on-one -on -one with the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes and Rhodes has been waiting for this opportunity since Ric Flair forcefully kicked him out of the Four Horsemen and with no disqualifications who has the advantage? Flair on the back foot Cody Rhodes with a disaster kick and that sends Ric Flair to the outside but look at him he's got that steel chair in hand and now drives it into the face of Cody and a chair shot to the spine and now Flair with a figure four on Cody Rhodes Cody in the center of the ring no disqualifications he's not gonna break the hold if he gets to the ropes but can he turn it over yes he does and now Cody reversing the pressure on that figure four 
and the hold is released. But how much damage has been done to those knees of Cody Rhodes? Ric Flair seems to be in trouble now. He's on the floor and look out, whipping him with his weight belt. That heavy belt being whipped on the spine of Flair and now Cody wants to put it away. Flair in trouble, has him held. Crossroads coming, but wait a minute. And there's Hangman Page with a buckshot lariat. Hangman Page, oh my God, what oh, the dead eye. The dead eye on that chair. And Cody may be done for. Remember, no DQ. And what is that? Is that a. That's a lasso. And now look at Hangman. Flair's new protege with a lasso around the neck of Cody. And he's passing out. Oh my god. And that. What is. And the towel's been thrown in. And that's Cody's wife, Brandy, throwing in the towel and now protecting her husband from any more attacks. And this is absolutely despicable. What Hangman Page and Ric Flair have done. Hangman Page, the new head honcho, as Brandy protects her husband. It is a match months in the making, and it will take place at our next pay-per-view event, Metals Ungovernable, John Moxley vs Kurt Angle. This all began when Mox made his return to Metal back in September, delivering a paradigm shift to the Olympic gold medalist. Since then, it seems as though Mox has had Angle's number, attacking him on numerous occasions. But John Moxley was very clear to make sure that Angle knew this beef wasn't personal. Rather, Moxley was using Angle as a stepping stone to success. While Angle took exception to this, as following Moxley's return victory over Finn Balor, Angle returned the favour, jumping the guardrail and hitting Mox with an Angle Slam. Since then, we've heard what Angle has to say. We've heard what John Moxley had to say when he explained his line of thinking in an exclusive sit-down interview several weeks ago. Then two episodes ago, Kurt Angle made the challenge official for a match at Metal's Ungovernable. And last week, following a victory over AJ Styles, Moxley gladly accepted. So the question now is, who will be victorious on that night and what will happen in the lead up to one of the most anticipated matches in metal history? This is going to be the metal debut of the baddest woman on the planet, the new NLW Women's Champion, Ronda Rousey. And as soon as Becky Lynch was found, injured a couple weeks ago on NLW, Ronda Rousey now going to take on the competition here on Metal. Rousey has injured Ember Moon, has seemingly injured, at least it's speculation, injured Becky Lynch and now look at Rousey with a knee and immediately trying to break the arm of Caitlyn. And Rousey with a record set in victory. And we understand that Rousey's going to defend that championship at Metal's next pay-per-view and puts the entire locker room on notice with that performance. Hi, Fireflies! Golly, what a delightful day this is! This is the first time I've appeared on Metal in forever! And I'm super excited. Now the last time you saw me, I wasn't feeling too good. I fell through the hell in the cell and got hurt real bad! But it gave me time to reflect, to reconnect with myself. All of that bad negative stuff, I pushed it all down, man. But I couldn't do it alone. I've got some friends here to help me. We've got Abby the Witch. Hello, Bray! Mercy the Buzzard! Hey man, how's it going? And my good friend, Rambling Rabbit! Ah, oh, cool! How's it going, Bray? It's going great, Rambling Rabbit! I'm so happy to be here on the Firefly Funhouse! With all of my Fireflies watching, and you too can join in our adventures here each and every week now on Metal! All you have to do is let me in! 
But that's all the time we have for now. I'll see you real soon for more adventures on the Firefly Funhouse. Haha. <laughs> okay, bye now. I'll see you soon. We're gonna have a lot of fun here. Bye. John Morrison qualified earlier tonight. Who is going to qualify next? Will it be Chris Jericho or will it be Drew McIntyre? The matchup is underway. And look at this immediately. Drew backs into the corner in a belly to belly. And that is the quickness you have to look out for when you're battling a man the size of Drew McIntyre. Now McIntyre went for a claymore. A chop though. Elbows his way free. Now Jericho looking for the walls. But thrown out of it. And a kip up from Drew McIntyre. McIntyre back to his feet and we're at a stalemate here early on and the headlock applied Drew McIntyre holding on to it but the suplex out a backdrop and then the drop kick from Chris Jericho he's going to try and dive at him but caught out look at the strength and an overhead fall away slam on that ramp nothing but steel on the outside there now gonna throw him again look at that strength the belly to belly from the outside to the inside of the ring and McIntyre all fired up here future shot coming but a Northern Lights suplex beautiful bridge and a kick out from McIntyre but Jericho right back at him with a lion's salt the Lion Salt connects and now Jericho's in control who is going to qualify for the Elimination Chamber oh no went for the Code Breaker but turned into a Spine Buster from McIntyre Jericho back on his feet catches the arm but a Judas Effect Judas Effect from Jericho and a kick up from McIntyre what a match we are witnessing here McIntyre kicking out the Judas effect and Chris Jericho for the life of him cannot believe it now in the tree of woe McIntyre in a lot of trouble but look out now look at the strength again in that legs the overhead belly to belly and now McIntyre going in for the kill Claymore kick coming no Claymore turned into the walls. Jericho, the veteran experience, had it scouted, turning the Claymore around into the walls of Jericho. And I'm going to wrench further. Wrenching on those legs, but the leg strength of McIntyre to turn it into a pin. Now another pin from Jericho. Goes over into the Claymore. Oh my God. Out of nowhere. The most devastating move in professional wrestling today. And Drew McIntyre remains undefeated here on Metal. And he is going to the Elimination Chamber at Metal's ungovernable pay-per-view. But it was a hard-fought contest from the start. The Judas effect right here, I thought it was over. Then this belly-to-belly. -belly. McIntyre looked to capitalize with the Claymore, but he got caught into the walls of Jericho. A couple of pin reversals later, and then this. Rolling Jericho through, did not see it coming, gets hit with that bullet Claymore kick and McIntyre is victorious well you see Jericho trying to shake the cobwebs off of him may have suffered a broken jaw McIntyre quick as you like with that Claymore kick and Jericho is another man to fall to McIntyre who advances to the elimination chamber well, Drew McIntyre and John Morrison are the first two to qualify for the Elimination Chamber at Ungovernable. We'll see later tonight if Braun Strowman can punch his ticket to the Chamber. But for now, let's talk about a wrestler who has been put on the sidelines. The Bruiserweight, Pete Dunne. It was last week, Pete Dunne went looking for Finn Balor after numerous altercations between the two over the past few episodes. Pete Dunne very much gotten under the skin of Balor and that was very clear last week when Finn, with Tama Tonga at the wheel, got a sledgehammer, drove into the knee of Pete Dunne. 
At first, we were looking at a potentially career-ending injury. Thankfully, though, Pete Dunne will make a full recovery in time. This past week, he went in for minor surgery. He's currently rehabilitating the injured leg, but we don't know when he'll be back. And as a result of this, he will not be a part of the upcoming NLW draft. Speaking of which, the landscape of this show may change next time you see it. There will be new wrestlers, new talent, because one week from today, No Limits Wrestling presents the NLW Draft, featuring wrestlers from both Metal and NLW. Who is going to jump ship? Where will each wrestler land? Find out next week for the NLW Draft. But before then, we still have our main event to come. It is the metalweight champion Tetsuya Naito going one-on-one -on -one with the monster among men, Braun Strowman. Strowman has been begging for weeks to get his hands on Naito and tonight, with a victory, he will qualify for the Elimination Chamber. Can he do it? We'll find out right now. That is the look of a man intent on destruction. And tonight, he could hand Naito his second defeat in the space of two weeks. Braun Strowman has been after Naito since Naito nearly hit him with a car. And with a win tonight, Braun Strowman will qualify for the Elimination Chamber and an opportunity to take that championship from Tetsuya Naito. It's our main event. It is up next. It is Naito versus Strowman. And now the bell is about to sound. And look at that, Naito already spitting in the face of Strowman and that's just going to piss him off. Strowman, furious, going to drive him outside, but no, look at that reversal. Naito, cocky as ever, trying to get under the skin of Braun, it's working, look out. On the outside, look at a running power slam, but turned into a DDT. The DDT on the outside, but how is Naito going to get Braun back in the ring? Five, the fans watching on as Braun punches out. Seven, after he's got a Whoa! Eight, that's nine, Rhino and that's Brody Lee. And in distraction, Braun Strowman has suffered a count out loss and Maito's going to win it. Well, Braun was distracted by what's going on. Brody and Rhino brawling as they have done the past few weeks. And Naito's victorious as Rhino goes to the back and... Oh my god. Strowman realises what's happened and he's after Naito. And Naito getting the hell out of there. Well, Braun was distracted and Naito rubbing it in his face. Braun will not be going to the Elimination Chamber. Wait! Oh my god, that fan! Driving Naito through the announce table, oh my! That is no fan! That is the suspended Samoa Joe! And Naito being driven through a table, and look at the commissioner, he is furious! And Braun with Naito on the shoulders with a pass down through the table! The commissioner was going to be fired if he did not remain controlled! But maybe Triple H will have no choice but to fire him. The Commissioner losing control as Braun Strowman decimates Naito.